Welcome back to the rest of the story. We're down here getting parts down at truck country and it seems I don't feel like going in and talking to the parts guy. I'll let Ryan and Dad do that. Then we come down and look at some of the trucks they have in the lot. You know the ones that have never seen any pavement. Still got all the little doodads on the wheels. And day cab trucks. They do have the over the road setup trucks. Well, they had a whole line of them actually, but the day cab is really what suits us more. But obviously, like Ryan's, you don't really get to pick and choose what the truck is set up for when you buy it. I mean, when you find a deal, you buy the deal. Huh. Myself, I'm really not too big on color, horsepower, name brand. I'm really not a truck guy at all. And the dogs are over there watching me. Um, this is pretty much Ryan's job as far as driving truck around here. Uh, Dad and I, well, at least myself, we will be learning how to drive it more efficiently. I mean, I have run the truck already, but um, really that's going to be Ryan's go-to. I was looking at grain carts earlier, and I did find a really nice one down in Indiana. And they dropped the price on it, twenty-five grand, you know, or not twenty-five grand, uh, down from twenty-five grand. They peeled off another, is it five or six thousand off of it? And that's kind of where my money'd be at, is looking at a bigger grain cart, getting rid of the two, and just going to one. Oh, oh the cheater wheels. Not something we'd really need, a lot more moving parts. I mean, I've never really actually stopped and looked at any of these newer trucks. Uh, nice, new, shiny stuff. But, I don't know how much one of these newer trucks would go for. I mean, Fort Ryan paid for his with the truck and the trailer. I mean, it was priced right. Even though we have a couple of those odd jobs uh, to get it road worthy again um, basically all it's really taken us so long to to get it up and run it well for one we don't have any grain to sell right now we don't need to sell any grain that's gonna probably be three or four months before we have to move anymore again but we have to uh, um, just finish up on Ryan's truck which is kind of a it's a learning curve it's a learning process and we're using YouTube exactly how YouTube is meant to be <laughs> a training source you find a couple videos on there and get a general idea how to work on something and kind of make it up as you go. But if you're looking at something for Travis to want to go buy, that's it. A simple dump truck sure wouldn't bother me at all. Uh, the county has those, oh it is, it's just a little, like a miniature dump truck with a dump truck box on it and everything like that. I could definitely see picking up one of them for cheap if you could find one. Uh, because I could really see us getting getting carried away using a, a, oh, those miniature dump trucks. I'm just going to call it a miniature dump truck. Um, for moving rock, moving dirt, hauling stuff. I mean, I think it would be pretty handy. It would be one of those odd things that you've never had one. You don't know what you'd use it for, but once you have it, you'd probably use it every single day of the week. Or at least two or three times a season. Because I know we'd use something for moving dirt down in my place quite a, quite often. So, And somebody did make that statement about those uh, spreaders, those vertical beater spreaders, those coons. Um, you can take off the beaters and then just use the spreader as a as a dump box. So, I don't know. As far as anything new, I mean, these are Western Stars right here. Uh, a new semi on our operation just isn't going to happen. A new tractor in general just isn't going to happen. So. <sighs> but. All things considered, even ours. Uh, for it being used, the inside is really clean. And I don't know anything about different uh, trucks or brands or anything. I do know that I'm glad we don't have to deal with death. Because, you know, once you start down that road, it seems like there's no coming back. You hear a lot of guys that have bought tractors and combines with the DEF on them. And 
we're regretting it within a year of doing it you can see the nice row of trucks uh, they regretted it within a year of doing it or they were very serious or they just go ahead and do it um, buy back something older without death that's why the older tractors like the 7000 series the 10 the 20 the 30 series are holding their prices as well as they are because people are holding on to them and people are still buying the low hard machines that are in good condition because you don't have to deal with the death so I mean, you really can't argue that fact oh. um, super singles compared to the singles or the tandems the duels um, my lot what I was always told as far as these go um, they are nice for flotation or whatever else like when you're out in the field uh, the problem is is that if you blow a tire on these um, you might get lucky enough that if one of these goes flat the other one will at least get you to your destination as opposed to those where it's gonna shut you down that's what I was always told that's what our trucker always told us that's why he liked going with the duels <sighs> yeah everything's just built heavy longer frame on this one though considerably longer frame I've been down here enough times I figured I'd at least stop and look at some of these trucks down through here I mean it's one of these things that's never gonna happen but Well, all right. Like I say, I can't sit here and pretend to talk like I know what I'm talking about. Seems how my experience with these large trucks is awfully limited. So, thanks for watching. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys later.